Hi there, Greg Sarnold, rendering specialist at Autodesk. Just want to show you several denoising options available with Arnold. So we've got the images, they've got the optics, the Intel, and the Arnold denoise images. Arnold denoise also has a dedicated UI for denoising images and animations, as well as using the noise.exe. There is this written tutorial which covers uh, how to denoise uh, a room interior, which comparison images and some examples here of the Arnold denoise parameters. So I've got an interior scene which is ideal for denoising, a lot of noise in the indirectly lit areas of the room. We've got the camera A samples set to 5 and diffuse samples set to 5. If we wanted to produce this indirect noise we'd have to increase the diffuse samples or enable adaptive sampling but then that's going to increase our render times. So yeah, let's try denoising instead. Okay, so the three denoiser images available. There's the denoiser optics imager, which is a GPU and based on the NVIDIA AI technology, ideal for IPR and look dev, meant to be used during IPR to get a quickly denoised image as you're moving the camera around and so on. Some options for blending here. So you can blend between the two and you can clamp the output as well. As well as the optics, there's the Intel Denoiser OIDN, a CPU based imager based on Intel's open image denoise technology. Again, available as a post processing effect and gets you a very quickly denoised image. And finally, there is the Arnold Denoiser, Noise, available as an imager and is also exposed as a dedicated UI as noise.exe, which you'll we'll go through. It's a little bit slower favors quality over speed and so it's more, it's more suitable for sort of high quality final frame denoising and animation sequences as well. Okay so the Arnold Denoiser Noise can also be found in the, the Arnold menu, Utilities and Arnold Denoiser Noise and accepts a single frame or an image sequence here. So let's render out uh, an image first. So can't save out images from the Arnold render view, we'll have to either set off a batch render or use the Maya render view window. Uh, before we do that, we have to make sure under AOVs that output denoising AOVs is enabled. And under the common make tab, make sure merge AOVs is enabled so that we can save as a multi-layer EXR. Okay, so let's start off a render. Okay, now we've finished rendering the scene. Go to our images folder, the project, and under the temp folder, we've got our denoising EXR image. So now we need to go to our noise utility and open that image in the input. Noise will automatically create an output path for us and it will add a underscore denoise suffix to the end for us. I'm going to use the default noise settings and we just need to wait for it to denoise the image. Once it's done, we just go back to our folder. We can see the denoise the image there. So we've got the images here. This is the image before it's denoised and here's the image after denoising. So then finally, as well as the Arnold Denoise and Noise Imager and Utility, we also have the Noise.exe. So here under Program Files, Autodesk, Arnold, Maya, Bin for there's the, the Kick.exe. Uh, just going to open up a command line and change the directory to where Kick is here. So I'm just going to drag this across, delete the Kick, change the directory. So we can run Noise and then dash I for the input image which we need to find here in the temp folder. So we just going to drag that across and then for the output image, do the same again, but then just underscore denoise, enter. So now our noise is going to run. And there we go, it saved the images, this image in the same folder. Okay, so that's an introduction to denoising in Arnold for Maya. Thanks for watching and bye for now.